Hey everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about the importance of a pre-shot routine. This video will probably be more on the boring side, but stick with me because a pre-shot routine is going to save you so many shots throughout a round and most people don't put enough effort or importance on having a very consistent pre-shot routine. So I'm going to go through my pre-shot routine and what I do. And I also want you guys to, when you're watching TV, you're watching the pros play, focus in on their pre-shot routine because it's going to be the same, exact same every single time. And you can almost time it and it'd be down to the second. Um, it just helps you under pressure, helps you stay in the moment, helps you stay present with the shots. It's so easy to get lost in what's going on um, out on the golf course, especially if you're having a bad day. And so this just brings you back. As we know, golf is all mental. And so having a really solid pre-shot routine really helps that side of it. So we'll just get right into it. So my pre-shot routine is the same when it comes to drivers down to any full swing shot, even my wedges. It changes on my chipping and then also changes on my putting, so I'll go through those as well and kind of what I do in the thought process around my, my pre-shot routine. But with the full swing, the first thing I do is I usually shoot the flag and see what it is. Let's just say that it's 145 yards. And then I would go, I'd grab some grass, see what the wind is doing. Really, there's no wind right now, but if it's downwind, into the wind, side wind, then I'm in my head just adjusting. Is, is it going to be a couple yards, 10 yards? Um, really, the more you play, you start to just see how the ball, wind affects the ball, and from there, you kind of know that if it's, you know, five to 10 miles per hour, that's only like a couple yards. It gets a little bit more um, aggressive, then you, you know, take some off or add some on. So you just kind of deal with it from there. So I see what the wind is doing. Next, I check my lie. If is it flat, below my feet, above my feet, is it on a side line? Because that's also going to affect how far the ball is going to go. And from there, when I calculate everything in my head, then I'll go to my bag and grab a club. So I won't have a club in my hand when I'm doing all of the math to figure out what I need to hit my yardage at. So let's just say that originally it's 145 yards. There's some wind to me, so then I'm gonna play that at 150 but I have a downhill lie, so I'm actually gonna play that at like 145 because it's gonna roll out a little bit more. And so from there, I'm gonna grab an eight iron. So after I grab my eight iron, I'm gonna stand behind the ball, take some practice swings, feel the shot that I wanna hit. So a lot of people just take practice swings because they think that that's what they're supposed to do and there's really no purpose behind it, but a practice swing is supposed to mimic the shot you want to hit. So when you're standing behind it, you're like, do I want to hit straight? Do I want to hit it high, low, draw, fade, whatever the shot might be. And let's just say I want to hit a, uh, just a draw here. So then I come back here and I try to feel that draw swing. What do I need to do? Sometimes I exaggerate that feeling and I really just try to get the feeling of like coming a little bit more from the inside and flipping it over. So I look a little bit more kind of like loopy just to really feel that inside out. And I do as many as I need, usually no more than three. And so once I get that feeling, I stand back here and I really zero in on the pin. This is when I take some deep breaths. So in the beginning, I was breathing wrong and I would breathe, breathe with my shoulders and so my shoulders would go up and down and that actually puts more tension in your body. So you wanna actually expand from your stomach and so if you're struggling with your breathing or feel very anxious, put your hand on your stomach. And you can do that twice. So when I come back here, I'm visualizing my shot, focusing on my breaths and I have no negative thoughts in my mind right now, none. I see a lot of people come back here and they're like, oh shit, there's water on the left, there's trees on the right, OB, whatever it may be. Don't think about that at all. All you're thinking about is a shot at hand, the feeling that you want, maybe one good swing tip that really works for you. Then you walk in, set up, maybe you like to twirl your club. I look once, set my feet, set my hand, waggle, look, down, and I do that every single time. If I'm nervous, uh, whatever it may be, having that consistent pre-shot routine really helps you center and focus in on exactly what you need to do and you don't allow your mind to go um, elsewhere to any bad negative thoughts. 
Next, I'm gonna go through my chipping pre-shot routine because this does differ slightly from my full swing. So instead of um, kind of analyzing the situation first, and then coming back, doing the feeling, and then coming back in, the first thing I do is just take some practice swings to see what the grass is doing, how tight is the lie and the rough. I really try to feel how thick it is. And so I'm just trying to get the swing, feel where the bottom is, and then I go from there. After that, I see kind of where the lie is, but mostly it's really not that severe where it affects it too much. I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna find an area on the green that looks good for me, of like where I wanna hit it, almost like a big hula hoop, and that's the spot where I wanna land it. So then I'll walk up. Find my spot, come back. When I find my spot, I like to do a little practice swing there just so I can feel it. And I'll come back. So I'm a real feel player when it comes to especially my short game. And so I'm really just trying to sense what my body's going to do to make the ball go to that distance. And it's a pretty straightforward shot, so I don't have to put any real creativity on it. It's just uh, it's 54 for me, just an easy chip shot, land it in the spot that I picked, and then it's going to roll out. Come back here. Again, I try to just really to feel it. Step into it. I always like to do one hand first. Set my feet down. Look. I missed my spot uh, just by a little bit. I hit it too far, but it ended up still working out really well. Again, that's the pre-shot routine I use all for my short game shots. So lastly is my putting pre-shot routine. And I feel like this is the most important pre-shot routine that you need to have because when it comes to pressure and uh, just getting in your own head, I feel it the most on putting, especially short putts. And I think it's also because a lot of people just never practice their pre-shot routine. You see people go to the putting green, drop three golf balls, hit them, and then just kind of putt around a little bit. You never practice a pre-shot routine. And so just like with your full swing, with everything else in golf, you need to practice this. And so every time you're on the putting green, even on the driving range, chipping green, go through your pre-shot routine because the more comfortable you get with it, it's really going to help you in those pressure packed situations. So the first thing I like to do is I walk around the entire green. One thing I really want to add is pace of play is very important and you can do your pre-shot routine when other people are hitting. You stay out of their way. So when it's time for you to go, that's not when you start your pre-shot routine. You're doing it while everyone is hitting, um, they're doing their thing and actually kind of lets you stay more focused in on what you're doing because you're focused at the shot. Sometimes if I'm just sitting here waiting for other people, I get really frustrated with like what they're doing. Maybe they're taking too long or I'm just not really that focused. So this gives you something to do while other people are practicing. Just stay out of their way, but you need to be prepared once your time to go. It actually speeds pace of play up because you're already, you have your club, you're ready to go, you have your line and you don't have to waste like going through the whole thing. So what I like to do is I like to walk around it, kind of see what the green is doing from this angle. I'll walk behind it, directly behind it, and see what the putt is breaking, how it's moving this way. So as of now, I was on the high side over there, everything's sloping this way. One good thing to keep in mind is mostly everything will slope towards the water and away from the mountain. And then I come about halfway here. I like going halfway again just so I can see how everything is moving. Then I'll walk up in halfway in between my ball and the hole. And I like to see how it's breaking right here. This just really helps me break it up into two pieces, especially if it's a longer putt. Sometimes you have double breakers. And so if you hit it right here, you can actually see kind of how it's moving this way. And then I come back here. I'll mark it, line it up, step behind it, see how, how it looks. Usually sometimes I'll pick a spot of where I want to roll the ball over, step up, come in. I take two practice swings every time, step in with one foot, one hand. Check again, look at my spot. All I'm focusing on here is my line, nothing else, no negative thoughts. 
the spot I want to roll it over, step in, look again, and go. And sometimes you do all of that and it just ends up that way. <laughs> That's all you can do about it. I misread that and I mishit it. And when you have a good pre-shot routine, you know you're going through all of the steps. And again, it's just golf and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But if you're going through uh, that routine, you just feel a lot more confident and ready to go. And it, when you're playing bad especially, it's easy to get lost in the bad shots or to spiral, and that's when you get on those bogey trains or worse. But if you can come back to your pre shot routine, focus in on that, it definitely helps you so much. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.